Hi guys, I'm Shivani and welcome to my channel S for Shivani, a one-stop destination for all your MD needs. If you're watching this video, then this means that you have got into the college of your dreams. So congratulations for that. And at this moment, I'm sure you're full of excitement. But there are also some fears, some nervousness as to how your first semester or you know the very first month of a college is going to be. So in this video, I'm going to share with you five tips that you can follow in the beginning of the year itself so that you are not missing out on any opportunity that comes your way and you're also able to get the most out of these two years. But before we go ahead, I request you to like this video and subscribe to the channel right away because it gives me more and more motivation to make such videos and to assist you in your journey. My first tip for your first month is going to be identify who are the kind of people you are vibing with so that you can form a friend circle. Now your first semester, your first month is going to be really very hectic and you need to be surrounded by people with whom you're not just going to partner for let's say assignments or projects or market visits or the various uh, your case study competitions that you will be a part of but you also need a gang with which you can vent out your feelings uh, who can help you and support you emotionally as well so try to focus on finding the kind of people you are vibing with you are able to connect with so that you can associate yourself with them now here is a tip for finding your project buddy um, let's say if you are someone who is great at communication skills who can speak on any topic without actual preparation then maybe you can pair up with somebody who has a complementary skill set for example somebody who is good at making the ppt somebody who is good at excel work so that they can provide you with all the information that you can pack about so that's one tip from my end the second tip from my end is going to be that try to find a mentor for yourself in the senior batch now your seniors are the people who have been through the entire first year and they have a lot of key takeaways from your from their first year they will be able to tell you certain mistakes that they did which you should definitely not uh, you know make while also they will tell you certain things that worked for them and that is why you should also try to do them and you know if let's say i am telling you about certain things that will be more in a general sense versus what you will get to know from these seniors will be very very specific about your college third thing for you to understand in the beginning of your year is understand the placement process what are the placement cycles when do the companies actually start to come for summer placements because in a lot of college colleges uh, the summer placement process starts immediately you as you enter college so you should know what are the top recruiters that come in the beginning of the year so that you can start your preparation uh, you should also know the kind of roles the companies offer uh, you know you should also understand how the experiences of your seniors have been while interning you know when you'll be entering a lot of people will be coming back from their summer internships so just try to have a conversation with them and understand how the process how the placement uh, cycles work in your college four tip for you to do in your uh, in the first month of your college is try to get a cv pointer now it can be that you know uh, you have been able to successfully get into the college um, you have been aiming for but when it comes to your resume it just reaches half page or a three fourth page um when you know during mba admissions the length of the resume is not taken very much seriously because you call this focus on more on the answers you give more on the kind of responses you have filled in the form but when it comes to placements your resume is you know the first um the first summary or you know the first reflection of what you are as a person and that is why i recommend that if you are someone who doesn't have a full page resume make sure you do something within the first month to get those cv pointers for the companies that come for minus day placements so you can either uh, you know create an account on dare to compete and try to find out different college events where you can participate 
within your college you know there will be various ice breaking events and sessions conducted by colleges uh, there will be uh, council admissions uh, of which you can be a part of and uh, there will be different social initiatives which a uh, college will carry um, uh, you know in the first month and all these activities are actually done to give you certain cv pointers so even if you're not able to win them just get that participant cert certificate with you and you can always negotiate with your placement team to let you write and mention those in your resume depending on how flexible the placement team is in your college the fifth tip from my end is that uh, get your schedule straight right from the first month uh, immediately you know as you go find out how you can subscribe to a newspaper or any business magazine uh find out how you can subscribe to a book from library um you know what are the requirements that you have to fulfill to get that book uh, what is the cycle to return and all of those things you should be able to give your 100% attention to the key and important things so for example if you feel that you know you will take a lot of time uh finding uh, you know maybe cooking uh, or maybe doing a laundry outsource these jobs to some somebody else uh, there will be uh, you know the maids and the servants the who will be working in your hostel try you if, if you do some jugaad uh, pay them for washing your clothes um, or you know for getting you your groceries or something of that sort uh, explore the key areas around your college and know uh, if let's say you get late from where you can order food Uh, from where you can get your basic necessities, the medicines, and all of these things. So, uh, just acquaint yourself well with the ecosystem of your college, and just try to find out that you know what is it that will occupy most of my time in a day, and is there any way I can do away with those responsibilities to focus solely on things that really matter to me in my MBA. I hope that this video has given you some ideas as to how you can try to give a structure to your first few days and if you're able to uh, you know repeat um, everything that you have set for yourself day after day it will ultimately become a habit and then you will not find you know any difficulties uh, in following that schedule and you will be able to balance out everything perfectly well Do let me know in the comment section if you have any queries or what is something that you want me to cover in my next videos. So that is it for this video. Make sure to like it and to subscribe to the channel. All the best.